In Creo Parametric, you can use the Behavioral Modeling Extension, or BMX, in order to perform a statistical design study to predict the yield of a component based on its tolerances. This is part three. In part one, we took a look at using MathCAD in order to calculate our standard deviations. In part two, we created a datum analysis feature to measure our critical dimension, our critical factor, the height. In this video, we're going to create a multi-objective design study in order to build a response surface that will be used in the next video when we actually do the statistical design study. Wow, that was a mouthful. Okay, let's jump over to the analysis tab. If you go to the drop down list for feasibility optimization, this is where you can create the multi objective design study. And here in the dialog box, I will click on the new button to create my multi objective design study. Let's call it mods, and I'm going to call it surface since that is what we are using it for. Normally, you use a multi objective design study as part of a trade study in which you take different dimensions and figure out which ones, which combinations will get you closest to your design objectives. Here we are using the multi-objective design study in order to generate a surface to be used by the statistical design study. All right, now that I've given it a name, let's go to the setup tab and then choose variables and goals. And so for the variables, I'll use the pick icon and then click my feature. We're going to use two of the different dimensions, the length dimension and the angle dimension. And by default, it's going to go plus or minus 10% of the different values. Now for the design goals, when I click on the button, it shows me any of our parameters from our data analysis features. I will select that one and click the OK button. So now I've got everything set up. Be aware that you do have the ability to change the sampling method from automatic to manual, but let's have Creo Parametric do the work for us. I will click the OK button, and now we can generate our table. Here we have the icon to compute the master table. I'll click on it, and for the number of experiments, I, used, I like to use a multiple of two. Let's use 512 and hit the Enter key. And down in the bottom left-hand corner of the graphics area, you can see where it is creating the various different records. All right, now it is done. You can see the data that we have in here from the various different experiments. Normally with a multi-objective design study, then you would start paring down the master table in order to figure out which of the different experiments that you want to pursue for your design. So for example, I can right click on here and we can choose the derive command. And this is where you can either specify constraints in order to weed out values or different experiments that are too high or too low, or you could use a Pareto to do that. But we're not going to use the multi-objective design study for its normal case. We're using it for the statistical design study. All right, just to show you a couple other things about this, if we go to the table drop-down menu, we can show the data that was generated. And here we have the height, here we have our two different dimensions. In another video, I'm going to export this data and then import it into MathCAD in order to see what the design surface looks like. Because here we have, again, our data that's generated. I'm going to close this for a second. You do have graphing capabilities inside of here. If you go to, let's see, where is it? Uh, tools, Graph Study. Here you can choose what you want to graph, and I'm going to graph on the x-axis, let's say the length, and then on the y-axis, I will graph the height. And then we, when we hit the graph button here, we can see the different experiments that we have. The problem is we have two different variables here. We were changing both the length and the angle, so I really don't get anything out of seeing this. If I go back here and choose the x-axis, we can then take a look at a graph for the angle. Again, it's just a bunch of scattered data. I can't create a 3D plot here to show the actual shape of the response surface. But again, I'm going to export this. Let me close out of here. Let's jump over to MathCAD for a second. 
and just to give you a preview, here's where I took the data and brought it into MathCAD in order to graph that response surface for how the height changes based on the length and the angle. But anyhow, in the next video, we will take a look at creating our statistical design study, and I'll show you the different distributions that you can use. Oh yeah, one last thing to mention, I will hit the save button over here in order to save this multi-objective design study and then we can close out of here. And again, in the next video, we will create our statistical design study in order to calculate the yield for our spring, for our desired height, based on the tolerances and standard deviations of the length and the angle dimensions. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.